Hello, namaste. This is Gilles Mancio, and I come back to you today to uh, discuss um, something that may seem strange. is uh, is about the celebration of Christmas on uh, August 21st. Uh, first, I need to say that as far as I know, uh, at some point in the history of our world, the, the, the Vatican decided to, to move the, this birthday of Christ into December 24th, because uh, that was a very, very uh, potent, powerful and well-followed uh, pagan holiday where um, every, uh, most everyone was uh, celebrating that, that, um, that, uh, the winter solstice. And so the, the priests and priestesses uh, would, all, would go to the forest and burn a tree, a Christmas tree, uh, in order to honor the, the goddess of the moon, uh, the, the moon energy, the moon vision. And so that uh, stayed as the, the Christmas tree with the light. But, um, but, but in, in a sense, for the celestial forces to celebrate the, nest, the birth of Christ, uh, no matter when it is, it is perfectly fine. And the winter solstice being such a powerful time of cosmic energy, it was actually appropriate to, to actually center all this energy around that time in order to create this celebration for the birth of Christ is the birth of divine love, forgiveness, opening the doors to the paradise, uh, to, to paradise and to, to the universal father although those doors were always open the, the christ made it manifest through his experience through his life uh, he was the, the personification of that uh, of that creator energy and so um, if we if we look into the record uh, as far as i can see uh, once again um, christ was born on august 21st as it is revealed in the urantia book and the story i want to share with you today is that it's a personal story but sharing it um, was that um, in um, I was living in uh, in 2000 and two, I'm sorry it was 1993 yeah. I was living in Colorado in Denver and um, I was invited to participate uh, into the ceremony on August 21st for the 2000th birthday of Christ and so I went there I was a group of friends and so just a regular mess, but um, uh, all of a sudden, in the middle of the, um, the ceremony, uh, the presence of Christ appeared before me. He must have been like five, six feet, five, six meters tall, and he was this beautiful, beautiful vision image. Of uh, he was dressed in beautiful clothing, um, and incredible light, incredible color, and I was so overwhelmed by this vision. And all of a sudden, just his hand moved toward me, and I became completely overwhelmed in such a deep, powerful love that it was a transform transformational experience. Anybody who meets the Christ for the first time will be transformed by this energy. Of course, we, we met again many times after that, but um, uh, this was my first experience. And so uh, a little while later, I went back to Miami and I was discussing um, a friend of, with a friend of mine who was a channel, was channeling my guardian angel. And so I asked her about this, this vision. I wanted to have an opinion on it to see what she could tell me about that vision. And uh, what she told me is that the presence of this master is always available to all spirit at all time. It is a, is a universal presence, and I just my consciousness just happened to tune in to that frequency at this particular time. Where, but it is always available. So basically, it is something that we need to. Uh, um, see first, that was my experience. But then after that, I I continue to to develop um, relationship with the ascended master realms. And uh, but Christ is more than just an ascended master. It is uh, it is the the inner divinity that we have. Uh, it is part of each and every human being. You don't have to be Christian to have this unconditional divine love within yourself. And so if you if you call on the Christ, he will come and help you. And uh, his mind is perfectly um, rounded up into, I mean, he's, he will adapt to you to, to bring you the most divine, the most perfect uh, wisdom and guidance that you can ever uh, wish to, to get. And so it, it is a very powerful force. It is an older brother. And so it is some someone you can always rely on and call on to uh, call on any time you, you you need, and so uh, so I just wanted to to talk about this thing because it is kind of strange to say that you're gonna we're gonna celebrate Christmas on August 21st, but but it is truly his, his birthday, and so uh, that is uh, what. Uh, what I, uh, I enjoy doing. It doesn't uh, prevent me from enjoying the regular Christmas uh, celebration with everybody else. But uh, I thought I'd make this little video today and I hope you find it interesting. If you have any comments, leave them below in the box and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you very much. Namaste.